All right, guys, we're down on the Clinch River today. Doing a little fly fishing. And uh, I don't know if you can see behind me. But uh, there's quite a bit of competition down here today. Got about 10 people fishing the steel water up here. And I'm going on down here on the far side of the island. A little faster moving water. Now these holes down here in the pass have produced quite a few nice trout. The last few times I've been, and I've not been in a while because we've got turkey season going on, but uh, not had a whole lot of luck down here. But uh, we're going to get down here and hopefully we can catch a few rainbows. Uh, they've got some brown in here too, every now and then some brook. So, uh, tied some flies up last night. We got some uh, size 22 midges. That's uh, one of my go tos down here at the clinch uh, olive, silver bead head, midge, and then a black one. So, uh, also tied a couple of pheasant tails, uh, about a size 18. So, uh, actually starting out with the pheasant tail today. So, uh, getting a little later start than I wanted to. I want to get up early and had some stuff going on, but, uh, getting down here right at noon. So, we've got about three hours for the water kicks on. Down here in about the hottest part of the day, and it is hot today, but, uh, hopefully the fish will be hot. So uh, stay with us, see what we can come up with. A little trout. Got another little trap. Not the size we're looking for, but fun to catch. Guys, we've caught several on the beadhead pheasant town inf, but we're starting to get a little sulfur hatch off going on here. And these trout are coming up and gulping them right off the top. So uh, I made a switch. Uh, so I put me about a size, it's either 16 or an 18 sulfur. Uh, don't know if you can see it there. It's actually a spinner. So uh, we're gonna see if we can match it up here and catch some of these on some dry flies. That's, uh, that's the real fun right there.
pair of these. Not getting the size we're wanting. fly gets a little waterlogged. You want it floating and riding high. And that is some pretty good stuff right there. Guys, there's nothing more exciting to see these fellers come up and gulp up a dry fly. Guys, the bites slowed down just a little. Moved around a little bit, trying to get in a hole with some bigger fish. Not been successful yet, but uh, it was fun catching them little ones. We got probably about uh, maybe an hour before the water gets down to where I'm at. So we're gonna go on the back side of the island. I've uh, been successful catching some nice ones back there, so. Sulfur just kind of slowed down. I see a few coming off the water right now. I just don't think there was any sizable trout in the hole we were catching them in this morning. Quite a few trout in there, but they were all probably in the six to eight, ten inch range. We're hoping for something today, 16 to 20 inches, bigger than ice. Still not what we're looking for though. If you can see, that's what happens when you start catching quite a bit. The fly is getting tore up, waterlogged. It's 
not been able to get much bigger than that today. Little all day, little all day. Well, not a bad fishing trip. We did catch a lot of trout. Uh, not the size that we were after, but nonetheless, caught a lot of trout. And uh, if you can come and consistently catch fish, it's a good day. We were hoping to get into that 14 to 20 inch trout range. Uh, never did get there. Uh, majority of what we caught, six inches, seven inches, I mean, some little bitty ones. Uh, probably the biggest one was maybe an eight or nine inch trout, but it's always fun on a fly rod. And it's extra fun when you can do it on a dry fly. And the uh, majority of what I caught uh, was on size 14 uh, sulfur. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of dry fly action today, had a good time. And uh, hopefully we can get back down there and get on some of the bigger trout. 